Hey there, and welcome to another video with me. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a footer on your Shopify store. And I'm also going to show you how to add your legal pages on your Shopify store. I see a lot of people make this mistake, right? They don't add the legal page the right way. They don't uh, add details which are supposed to be added the correct way, right? Or sometimes information, they don't know where to put what information, you know, and you come on the Shopify store informations are just everywhere so stay tuned i'll walk you through on how to add a footer on your shopify store so now we're going to add our legal pages right so some of these legal policies are mandatory others are not mandatory but the privacy policy is ex is very important it's, it's important you have your privacy policy so let's go to settings now and on settings you need to go to legal on legal here, what Shopify does is Shopify kind of provides you with templates, how every single legal page will look like, you know. Let's just click here on create from template and see. So this is an example of a Shopify legal page. You can always come here and change it, change it in your own liking. You know, this is not a must that you should follow this template, but this is just an example of what you should do. And by the way, this is not a legal advice on how to write a legal page, but this is just an example. So just go ahead here, change it in your own liking and put it the way you resemble your business and make sure you understand what you're putting out there. So uh, this is more or less, you know, what Shopify provides, right? Go through it, read it and, put, and tailor it in your own liking. You might need to consult a specialist to write a privacy policy for you. And now when you come here to terms of services, Click here on create from template as well. And then it will feature examples of, you know, how the terms of services should look like. So here you can delete this and replace it with your own ones, right? That's absolutely fine. Um, make sure, make sure you put your own one here, by the way. Make sure you put your own one here. This, but these, these are just examples. Shipping policy. So I would say, uh, so I'll just say two to five business days. Again, guys, this is not an example. This is just something that I've written. You can always change it. And once you've done, once you're happy with everything here, once you've inserted your own privacy policy, shipping policy, and refund policy, make sure you hit save. Okay, now, now that we've finished with our legal pages, right? We've set all of our legal pages. We now need to go to online here and just click on navigation. On navigation here, you need to click on footer menu and on footer menu i need to get rid of search i don't really need this one so i'll just click here on remove and then i'll click here add menu item on link here i will go to policies and select the policy so in this case i will start with the privacy policy and just click here on add go back again look for another policy Okay, I've added all four policies. Now I need to rearrange them the way I, I want them to look. So I want the terms of service to be first, then um, privacy policy, and then I want the reform policy to be last, right? So after I've done all of it, and I need to click here on save. So now let's head back into our website and see how it looks. So click here on. So guys, this is how our footer looks like but then we need to make some changes on our footer here. So let's head back into our um, dashboard, click here on online and then customize quick link. So let's customize the quick link uh, wording here. So I'm going to add there our policy. So that's our policies right now. I need to get rid of the newsletter. I don't really need this, right? I can just remove that block. So guys, basically this is what our policies look like, right? So we have the term, terms of service, privacy policy, shipping, and refund policy. So once you've done all of that, you need to make sure you save it. And then let's head back into our dashboard. We, another thing that we need to do now, we need to add pages, right? So at the moment we have, we virtually have no pages. So we're gonna add new pages. So our first page is going to be our contact page. 
And I will recommend you to add an email here, right? And add a small message. That's my email basically, right? Hey, I'm always so okay, reach out to me at this email. Where it says now template, uh, team template, right? Default page. I need to set that to the contact page. And then I make sure I save it. Let's now go on view online store just to see. This is basically how our contact page is going to look like, right? Now let's let's go back and we're going to add another page. About us, we can add some content here and then make sure we save it. We're going to add FAQ. And put the description here and just save it. So we've added four pages, right? Four pages are showing. Uh, now I need to go back to navigation and I'm going to add a menu here. And my menu will be named customer service. And I just make sure it's saved. And on customer service, I need to add some menu item here. I need to go to links, pages, and select, uh, I'll say contact us first and just click on save, add links. So I have now added our pages right into our customer service uh, main item. So let's head back into our store now and let's just um, click here on customize. As you can see here on our footer, there's only uh, our policies. So I wanna add the customer service page as well. So let's just click here on footer again and just click on add block and I'll select menu. And then in this menu, I'm going to uh, edit menu. So in this menu, I'm going to um, put here customer service And I'm going to insert the customer service here. Just click this one customer service and just click on select. So now you have our policy and then the customer service area. So, and once you've done all of that, you now need to click on save. You have, okay guys, you have now successfully set up your footer, right? So give yourself a big thumb up, right? <laughs> you've done well. And by the way, can you please just press a big like on that video? you know, do that for yourself for having done this. And um, thank you for watching this video. If this video was helpful, can you just type helpful in the description down below? I just want to hear from you. Uh, let me know um, what type of products you're selling, right? And yeah. And also don't forget to share this content, which is very important. It's extremely important for us to get this content out there, you know, to help as many people as possible. And more importantly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and activate the notification belt so so that you don't mix so that you don't miss uh, my future content. Right? Thank you again, and I see you next time. Take care.